Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing an IMAX LA haul. Okay, so I didn't buy a whole bunch of things from LA, but I had a wonderful time. And I also got my nails done at Lackey Nail. Shout out to Mindy who slayed my nails. I did a little coral reef um, into stellar galactic look. I didn't mean to match today, but I do. Give me a little spring vibes. Um, yeah, and let's just see what I got from IMATS LA. So, you guys, I went to IMATS LA and I had a good time. So, let's just start off. I've never been to LA before, that was my first time going. Um, it was in Pasadena at the Pasadena Convention Center, and um, I liked it very much. However, I wasn't blown away like I thought I was. G leading up to it, getting ready to go that morning, I was kind of, um, I don't want to say I was, I was super excited. When I first got there, um, I enjoyed it. But you know, after a while it sets in, I only went one day. I was going to go two days, but I only went one day. And that was this Saturday. Um, so now it's been probably about a week, last week, weekend, before then. However... I had an amazing time. I liked LA. Where I stayed, I stayed in Pasadena. Um, I stayed at Hotel Constance Pasadena. The hotel was beautiful. Um, they had happy hour. You know I was all about that from 4 to 7 every single day. Um, they had a beautiful pool. The bed was amazing. The shower was amazing. If you're ever in Pasadena, you need to stay there. The customer service was through the roof um, and I just overall enjoyed my stay there. Um, it was very peaceful. It was very quiet. It was places that you could walk to, um, but any place that it was in like a three mile radius, um, they had concierge services where they, they drove you there for free. I didn't get a lot of stuff like I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to like ball out. And when I got there, I was like, mm. not saying that they didn't have good products. It was it was wonderful, but I just felt like you know some of the brands didn't bring all their products, and I was like, well, you don't want to offer all products. So anyway, let's get started with this haul. All right, this is the stuff I kind of put in. See, there's some stuff that I did purchase before I even went um, because uh, Macy's was having a sale. 20% off, um, and then, not 20% off, it was like a sale on certain of their things, and then also was also having a 20% coupon off a of high-end stuff, so I did buy a few little things there, not much, I'll show you those in this whole clip, but this is, it says Cosette, I bought some stuff out of Cosette, if you know from my last haul, I met haul here, and the one he had in Atlanta, I hit it off with Hillis there, he is amazing, um, and I love the shadows. So when I went out there, I saw him again. Long story short, we're going to get into those in a second. Um, but first I want to show you what I bought here. So for Macy's, I bought the um, Anna, Anastasia Beverly Hills Armreezy. Now, I didn't pick this up the first go when everybody was all the rave. Um, you guys know what this looks like. I hear tons and tons of reviews and raves about this product. Um, I know a lot of you guys love this product. Um... I love Amra. I think that she does a bomb makeup. Um, and I love the pattern of this. It's not that I wasn't intrigued by getting it. It's just I never, you know, ran out to go get it. I don't know. So, I de definitely have it now. I will test it and I will do another products, um, another get ready with me when using new products. So, you'll see that coming soon. I also picked up a few things from MAC. So, one of them was a blush. Um... What I pick up? I'll put it in a, uh, um, I used it one of my last tutorials. So, I got, this was Spice Lip Liner. I bought Strip Down Lip Liner. And I also bought MAC a Giga Play Black Mascara, you know, the one that, the blue one that they have underneath the lashes. I mean, I didn't open it yet because when I start using the mascara, I want to use it. I'm using a Tarte one right now, uh, Tartiste for my low lashes. So this is mainly I got this for my low lashes. Um, you guys already know what Strip Down and uh, what is this Spice lip liner look like. So if you want, I'll show you. This is 
Spice, is this? Spice Lip Liner. That's what that looks like. Super pretty. That's a lip liner because I need one. Um, and the other one is stripped down. It's just a regular brown. So, I want to do a get back to MAC. Then I want to buy a whole bunch of MAC stuff. So that's spice and that's stripped down. So you can kind of see the two. The next thing I got, when I first walked in, I had been searching for this brand. It is called, let's see, Makeup Atelier. This is what it looks like. And I wanted, when I, okay, so I've been watching this brand for a minute. They make their products, I believe, in, did they say Indonesia or something like that? It was either Indonesia or, um, I was thinking it was Italy, Paris. But, let me see. Oh, this is made in France, Paris. Yes, because I, I thought that, but somebody said it. I think when it was talking, I overheard somebody speaking. Maybe they were talking about another brand. But they were standing right in front of it and they were explaining everything. However, I bought uh, Makeup Atelier Paris. It is, I heard, uh, what is it? Uh, Wayne Goss talk about this brand and this foundation. So I had to pick it up. I wanted to buy it. Um, but buying it online, you don't know the shades. So this is in the shade Fond Detente Fluid Waterproof, Waterproof Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade... They have numbers, I believe. Six, I think I got. Yeah, Gilded Ochre FLW60. So this is what it looks like. I'm hoping that it matches me. Um, they had a good range of shades, which I was very impressed with. I did want to pick up some other products from them. Uh, mainly their eyeshadow, but when I swatched them there, and I had it in mind of the, some of the shadows that I wanted to purchase, but when I got there, some of them were like real, real dry. And I was like, they had good pigmentation, but they were dry. So no, I don't know. I think I'm still going to buy them. I should have at least bought one. Um, but that's the only thing I bought from that brand. Um, and I paid, I think, $25 for it. Yeah, it retails, I believe, for $32. And then it was 30% off, so I paid $24.53 with tax. Um, they did have a MAC booth there. I only The only thing I bought from MAC, because MAC didn't have a full range of products. The only thing they had there was a, like some of their lip liners. They did real cute boots. I'll insert a picture here um, at the MAC counter. So there's like um, a display where it's like Instagram worthy, picture worthy. You could take um, at MAC. There, It was a fun booth. Um, the line was super long. Uh, they didn't have all their products, but they had like their glows and... Um, a few other the few other things that there, their lipsticks, some of their lipsticks, they didn't have a full range, like powders and um like max skin finish powders and blushes and stuff like that. I was interested in seeing that and that's what I was talking about. A lot of the the major brands didn't have all their products there. Um but the only thing I bought there was a Fix Plus. Of course you guys know what Fix Plus is. Um I bought the coconut one. I should have bought two of them. I don't know what I was thinking. The line was so long, and as long as I waited, I should have just bought uh, two of them. But I stopped buying it so much because they went up on price, like $26 for some water. And I was like, mm, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to get back into MAC. So when I do get back to MAC, if they still have it available, I will purchase some more. Um, my favorite booth, I think, there the whole entire time was Namie's. Just because Namie's had everything. When I mean everything, they had Laura Mercier, they had Huda, they had Stilla, they had um, everybody. Um, Dose of Colors. So, I picked up a few things from um, Namie's. So, their line was long too, but I waited online. Um... First palette I bought from them was from Dose of Colors. Now, when I saw these, this was not my intention to get them. Um, when I first got in there, I went around to the major booths I had highlighted on my sheet. I planned this thing out. Then after that, I went to the places that I, you know, I didn't mind going after. I had, you know, bought the things that I wanted to buy. Once I swatched these, um, I've heard a lot of people talk about these shadows, but um, I didn't even swatch them yet. Did I swatch these? I don't think so. I swatched them in, at the store. Okay, so this one is the Sassy Siennas. And this is what the palette looks like. Bungie, and it comes with a little... These were so pretty. 
on a brush. These were so pretty, I couldn't leave them there. I saw another girl next to me who's a uh, medium skin tone, who very similar to my complexion. She swatched them on her arms. And I was like, uh, let me have that palette. Um, these swatched so well. The original palette that I went, when I was looking around, I bought, I should have bought Huda's powder. But they didn't have the, the one that I wanted there, so I said I'll buy it um, later. When I get back home, and I didn't, I haven't made it to Sephora yet. Um, this was the main one that I wanted to get, and this is the Baked Browns. Because I feel like I'm going to go more of a neutral tone. I like color, but I'm kind of toning it down a little bit since I'm getting a little older. Um, and this is the Baked Browns. This is very neutral. It's super pretty. Um, and I love the colors on these. Swatch so well. I am going to do a first impressions on this. So, you will see this live in action. I also bought... Laura Mercier, I, I don't know why I didn't buy the foundation because they had the foundation there. Um, Mel talks about the foundation all the time, how much she loves it. I don't know why. I think I'm going to get a sample first, try it out, and then purchase it. Because I'm going to cut back on my, some of my spending for this makeup situation. I want to use a lot of the products that I already have that like I died to have and barely even touch. So one of the things I bought from Laura Mercier it was the Exotic Face Illuminator. Um, this thing was $10. Um, and I was like, okay, I'll take that. This is, I don't know if you've seen this. It was, looks like this. It's a bronzer, but it is so freaking stunning. Um, this is what it looks like. But, the glow on this, uh, the glow on this is ridiculous. It This doesn't even justify it. Look. You can see it a little bit there, but you can't even really see it. It doesn't justify this. Stunning. I swatched it while I was there. Oh my God. Gorgeous. But you can't really see it on here. So I'm going to do I'm gonna do a first impression of all the products that I purchased. Um, that will be my next video. That was stunning. Bye. What is it? and I got a lot of samples from them but the main thing I wanted from them was the Viseart palettes if you guys know the Viseart palettes are some of my favorite shadows period I want all of them I didn't buy all of them um I bought what I really wanted um I this I bought the dark mattes palette they were going for sixty dollars so I wanted this one they also had the koi one um, not at the Alcone booth, at it's another booth, Friends booth, I believe it is. Um, and of course these are the shades. I love this, this is perfect for the fall, this is right up my alley. Of course I said I ain't gonna do color, right? And here we are. Um, but this is more of like a, how do I explain it? It's like appropriate, it's cool down type of color. So I think we can get away with this. Um, I am going to still do color because I love color. However, I think I want to tone it down a little bit and do more of nudes, start doing more nudes. But then again, you know, I do wild and crazy kind of makeup too. So, um, I love this. Super pretty. $60. Worth it. Um, I feel like I should have bought the Brights palette. The editorial Brights because I wanted that one. Um, had I went for the second day, I think I would have bought more. I don't know why, but I just didn't buy for two days. Um, the next one, let's see what we got in here. I also bought, now I bought in the Cosette booth. When I went to Cosette booth, I bought one of their, their palettes, like their, you know, makeup storage. I'm going to put, I do have Cosettes from my last eye mats, but I'm going to put the rest of the ones I bought at, from here in here. And this is just a, the large version. I think it's $18 on their site. Super cute. I love the texture of that. Um, I can't wait to put my Cosette shadows in there. I'm going to show you those right now. As I said, I was not buying color. I bought color. The colors that I bought were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I bought 5 shadows and a liquid lip. The liquid lip, I love the packaging at Cosette. It reminds me of 
um, Milo Pucci. The color I bought was Madison. It's very like a flesh tone. And I'm excited about wearing this. Of course, I'm going to wear it in a tutorial. But this is the color. It's very like nude, nude, nude. Like concealer nude. And I love that. I have on the lip gloss from Kylie right now. Um, so cute. Um, it's very like that type of nude. I need to re-up and buy another one because I love that color. This is Peridot and it is like a shiny green. Super pretty. I also bought a shiny blue. It's called Lapis. Lapis. This is the shade. Um, I also bought Blade. This is a matte green. I bought um, the Velvet Shadow in Prince. Super pretty. Once you swatch this, it's so bomb. And then the last one is Oceanic. And this is a blue. Just as I said, I wasn't buying color. It's going to tone it down. If you haven't tried the shadows from Cosette, you need to. I don't know what you guys are doing, sleeping on them. But they have one of the best formulas. They're very, very comparable to um, Viseart. But I feel like almost that they are really neck and neck almost a little bit better. To be honest with you guys. Royal Lane and Nickel was there. I didn't buy much from them. I, they have now. They've they've changed some of their um, their name, not name. Royal Lane and Nickel, but um, it's Omnia. They're still Royal Royal and Lane Nickel. I think that the company that they they got now was the line that they have. Um, I bought this B O M one thirty brush. Now this brush. I want it to all over face brush, but I haven't decided what I'm going to use this for yet. I could probably use this for contouring, sweeping away. This brush feels so good. I wish you guys could feel it. It is BOM 130, and it is like uh, some of the softest. Like, it's the softest brush ever. Like, one of the softest brushes I have in my collection. Um, I like that. The next thing I went to... I went to Jouer. Jouer was there. And you guys know from my last, one of my things before that, I was excited about getting to Jouer because of my skinny dip highlighter that broke into 50 million pieces. I'm going to be super careful with this one. Um, this is in skinny dip. Now this is one of the most blinding highlighters. They were having sale 2 for 35 but I didn't want any other one. I just wanted the skinny dip. Because, you guys, I really can't afford to buy any more makeup that I'm not going to use. Like, it's just ridiculous. I have so much makeup. Um, it just doesn't make any sense to keep on buying makeup and I'm not even using my makeup that I have. Just to have it. Like, um, purchases that I'm going to utilize what I have. I'm going to still buy the stuff that I really want. But I'm putting myself kind of on a makeup budget a little bit. Makeup diet. Let's say. Um, so this is Skinny Dip. Of course, you guys seen it before. I've used it before. My old one was broken to smithereens. This one. Oh. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It looks very light, but it's super pretty. You guys already know. It hits the cheeks. It's so stinking pretty. And I'm so excited about that. While I was there, I also... Bought glitter, um, their glitter shadow, their Making Magic Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette. It was on sale. It's on sale, I believe, at Sephora. It's on sale on their main site for $30, but I got their palette for $15. So I was like, okay, let me take it. Um, and it also came with a little Ultra Foil Eyeshadow it's a gift set. It was a gift set. It comes with a little, it looks, the ones that look like this, glitters that look like from Stila. That and this was $15. So it was a, it was a good deal. Um, and I swatched these. They look stunning. They feel amazing. Super pretty. Hold on. 
so you can really see. There they are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, and you know what's funny? I have their, their palette from before, but I barely even use it. It's the, the Skinny Dip actual palette, the one I bought that highlighted with before. And I barely even use it, like, but I'm going to get used out of what I'm, I'm, I bought today. But today, but the other day. And this is the Glitter Foil. Super pretty. It looks like it's a black. It looks like the, um, the, um, Stilla, Stilla ones that I wanted. It's funny because I actually wanted a black one. I wanted it for my New Year's Eve look, blackout look, and I didn't go anywhere. But... Those are 24. This week they came in a set for 15. So I was definitely stoked about that. Last thing I bought was the Hourglass Veil. Hourglass was there. Um, I didn't buy this from the Hourglass booth. I bought this from the Friends booth, I believe. The Friends booth? No. It was another booth that had a Kevin Kwan. Uh, I can't remember right now. Um, however, I bought this, the Veil Loose translucent setting powder I wanted this I've been going back and forth but I was gonna get it or not and then I've been wanting it and I'm like okay now's the time hourglass had they didn't have this they said they had sold out I didn't realize that Friday is when they started um but I purchased my ticket for Saturday so I went um I didn't get this from hourglass hourglass was there, but I didn't get this from hourglass hourglass had their their powders the trios, you know, the um, buffing powders, um, the skin finishing powders. They had the full range of the Vanish Stick foundations. And they also had, that was it? Was that it? I think that was it. Um, and that was their first year being there. But you guys all seen what this looks like. Packaging is superb. Um, and yeah, I'm interested in trying this to see how this works. Definitely ready for that. And I think that is it, you guys. That's all I bought. So you see, I didn't buy a whole lot. I just bought the products that I wanted. I felt like, okay. And if they were a good deal, I was going to buy them. Um, because nobody flies all the way out there, gets a hotel, all of that, just to pay full price for items. So, um... I'm so glad that I did go to have that experience. Um, I did see MMM Mitchell. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name. His MMM Mitchell, he's the guy from UK, um, who does bomb, bold looks with P. Louise makeup. I saw him. Um, I just said hi to him real quick as we were passing by. Nobody was like chasing him or nothing like that. Um, super cool, down to earth. I just told him keep up the good work. He got his his makeup is bomb, um, and super sweet adorable super tall um and yeah that was it pretty much it um they had a lot of other booths there i just bought really what i wanted what i was interested in makeup forever they had the new concealers there i trust tested them i wasn't interested um who else was there lime crime was there um and there was a lot of good booths there um, and I feel like if you've never been there and you've never been to L.A., I think you should definitely try it out. Um, next time I go, I don't know if I'm going to go to IMAX, but I'm definitely excited to go back to L.A. this year. Um, I am going to plan something. I don't know when, but I'm definitely interested in going back to L.A. Um, it's very Instagram worthy, and I can see where that falls into play because you see people, you know, in their shorts. And they, for them, they said it was cold. It was 70 degrees. I'm like... Are you kidding me? It was like 32 in Atlanta. Like, stop it. But it was beautiful weather. Um, I love the ambiance. I love, it was very peaceful. I, I like the whole thing. I'm definitely going to go to L L.A. again. Um, and I'm interested to see what, you know, life has to offer me. I am taking a step back from my actual work. Um, I am working, but I'm going to um, take a step back a little bit and stop spending so much time at work and focus on my channel and my growth and what life has to offer i'm ready to open up i'm ready to be all the guys calls me to be and you know just embrace this new whole life so yeah i'm ready so
So, thank you guys all for tuning in. Thank you for my chatty haul video. Um, thank you for following me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for just listening to me on this little platform of mine. And, um, yeah, 2019, I'm excited. So, Happy New Year to you guys again, again, again. And, um, yeah, let's do this thing. So, next video you'll probably see is me testing out some of these products. I'm sure I can't use all the products in here, but I'm going to use a lot of the products in here. And whatever I don't use, I'm going to spill over to my next videos. So, yes, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate you all. Bye.